Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome to the finale of the main 30 levels of Super Mario Advance 4 bonus e-reader content. Of course, this is not truly the end, because after this we have the promos and the classic levels, but still, it's a big accomplishment to finally be done these main 30 new levels, uh, which is a shame so many people of the world have never gotten the chance to play. I mean, heck, uh, Europe didn't get any of the e-reader cards at all, and then you have North America where, you know, we, we are teased with the first 10. It's like, ha! You will never get to experience the end of this amazing new level stuff. So, yes, we are finally... Uh, at the end, after coming such a long way, and it's going to be finished off with Bowser's Airship Part 1 and Part 2. So I have no idea what's going on here, why they had to break it up into two parts, uh, but I really hope that means we're in for like, you know, an epic finale that's just so massive that they had to break it up. So here we go. Part 1, with only three advanced coins, actually. That's kind of surprising. I feared they both would have been gigantic five advanced coins, 70 E coins, extravagance. No, that, that, that's it's like my dream level with like a thousand million things to collect. But okay, um... Oh, okay. It looks like we're going to the left. That's that's already pretty innovative. I don't... I'm trying to think of if there's ever been a Mario game that had auto-scrolling to the left. I know you've had... You know, crazy auto scrolling where sometimes it goes right and then up and then down and stuff, uh, like uh, Butter Bridge One or Five Nine of Super Mario Brothers Three, but uh, not nothing that auto scrolls to the left is coming to mind. Also, <laughs> good job Mario. It's getting blasted in the face with a oh my gosh! Wow, <laughs> I did not expect that block to be there, and it kind of sent me flying right off the edge. But hey, I mean it's good to know that there are power ups around. Oh, what should we use? We're approaching the end here. I have, you know, power-ups I've just been hoarding all over the place. Let's use the cape. You know, the cape that I was so happy to get. Let all of its glory shine on, as hopefully we do not lose it in the first three seconds of the level. Actually, speaking of, you know, first three seconds of the level, I think I'll just, you know, hide and not do anything as much as possible in an attempt to not lose it. Can the cape get rid of the cannonballs, though? I really want to find out, but at the same time, I don't want to get close enough to find out. Um, but it should be useful against rocky wrenches, though. I mean, the great thing about the cape is you can just mash the... I mean, I guess it's the, it's the B button. If it was the Super Nintendo, it would be the Y button, but on the controller I'm using, it's the square button. Uh, but you can just mash that, and you get a really good, you know, constant, almost, uh, sh like, barrier around you. I was going to say shield, but I guess it's kind of more like a barrier. Um, of course, the the raccoon suit doesn't do that. The tail spin is very slow, so it's very hard to accurately kind of dodge projectiles with it, but no, the cape is much better for that. Uh, it's very overpowered in Mario World, which is why I guess I kind of understand why it hasn't come back in more Mario games, but it's such a cool power-up. And obviously they showed that, you know, you can make good levels in Mario 3 that, they, that it doesn't break. Uh, but anyway, that was an awesome display of stupidity right there. As we now venture on without any power up at all. I don't know how exactly I managed to pull that off, but it's me! So, you know, I managed to find a way to destroy the universe. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. That was awesome. Let's do that again. I am very happy. I don't know, I kind of had, I, I was just kind of, you know, talking and I, my eye caught the, uh, the advanced coin. And then I got blasted by a gigantic cannonball. Typical day in Mario 3 land, I have to tell you. Okay, so yeah, so we're up here, and it's just, that's so cool. Now we're moving to the left. Now this beginning part right here almost reminds me of the airship level from World 8 of Mario 3, where instead of being like one big airship like the other airships in other worlds are, it's, you know, just little things that you have to make massive jumps to, and that's a fun level. This, this starts scrolling really quickly. Definitely a good test of skill for the final... Why am I standing on top of you? I did not think it was actually possible... Like, I landed on top of him. Yeah, I think you can stand. And he'll push you up. But I didn't think you could land on him and somehow not crush him. I kind of call shenanigans on that one, but okay. Making progress here. So wait, was that the first advance coin? For some reason I thought it was the second. No, I guess it was the first. Unless... No, no, that's the first. That's right. And right, then the second one... Okay, so we need to be prepared for a giant cannonball about to crush our face. So if I hide... No, I, I hit down here last time. I'm going to need to wait for that, get up here, wait for him to throw his wrench. Fail at crushing him, but that's okay. Get down here. Actually, having- Whoa! I was about to say having that wrench out of the way would have been a good thing. But then I noticed it started to go down. So I'm like, okay, the wrench isn't going to cut. And then it curves back up. <laughs> oh, I'm not even mad. This is this this is awesome. This is, I, ugh. Awesome levels. Very awesome. Okay. 
take it slowly here. I mean, I guess I can't really control the speed. Also, I don't know how I didn't just get my face taken off there. Ugh, always kill the rocky wrench guys. Like, I keep missing that one for some reason. But yeah, I was standing here and then the wrench curved upwards. It was beautiful. Also, whoops. Okay, anyway, gotta get up quickly, I think. Uh, okay, a leaf. Very good. Leaf, much more uh, useful than a fire flower. I mean, I guess the fire could kill the rocky wrenches. Otherwise, a, f uh, a flower is usually not super useful in airship levels, much like it's not so useful in castle levels. Huh, okay. Actually, could you go to the right there? Okay, no, you could not. So, wow, alright. So, suddenly the auto scrolling stops and we're going inside a door. I mean, I guess I can't pl complain about that. We have one more advanced coin to find. I was going to say, do we want to go right or left? But it looks like right is the way to go. Can you not fall back down? Okay, I was gonna say, uh, is this, the way the screen scrolls up, it's almost like, if you go back down there, it's death. But no, it's not. I almost want to fly, though. I don't trust this area at all, but then I guess, you know, we can't fly now anyway. So, oh well, although, hope's not lost yet. Hopefully we still have a chance of getting the advanced coins somewhere. Alright, let's see. I see these gigantic things here. And people will know I've never been such a fan of these. You know, you have to make very precise jumps. What's up there? I am interested in what is up into the left. Actually, that's right. You can hit those things with your head to move them to the left. We learned that in a, uh, I think it was level 12, Airships Challenge, where we needed to do that uh, to get one of the advanced coins. So it looks like we are reusing some old tricks, which is good. You should always have to kind of remember the things you've learned throughout a game and use them for the final level. I mean, or like, you know, final levels. I, I hate it when it's kind of like, oh, you got to the end, but, you know, nothing really that you learned throughout the game matters or comes back or, you know, it, it's always... It doesn't feel like the end game unless you have to, you know, bring out those things that you worked hard to get good at. Anyway, um, I'm sure this is possible. So before I ramble on anymore, man, it actually moved back. Seriously? Although, wow, we have 160 seconds. Let's not make this like the last part where Bowser just barely got dead. Uh, it's best to jump from this one here. No, I keep hitting uh, those other gray things there, which is kind of annoying. Ugh. Okay, what is this? After all that, it was a power-up. Is there at least a 1-up? Yes, thank you. That seemed like a very 1-up, uh, you know, good spot for a 1-up. So, I predicted that wonderfully. But anyway, let's get under here. This looks like the kind of place where they're going to put an advanced coin. I'm going to have to squeeze through the small little gap in the bottom here. Like down here, maybe? No, okay. Anyway, we're going to kill you, we're going to kill you. Where do I want to go? Actually, I should probably keep down. That's what I'm getting from this. <clears throat> I should keep... Uh, there was like a thing right here? No! Darn it! Okay, that's where the thing is. Now we know! And knowing is like 76% of the battle or something. Alright. Actually, I have 70, that's how many lives I have. I don't think that's where I just pulled the number 76 from. Unless it was a extremely subconscious thing because I was not looking at my lives counter. Anyway. Mario, go, 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 go. What is the plan here? So we got to this middle point before. And then we have to go down here, and we have to squeeze through this. Actually, why are we even squeezing through this when we can just easily go around? Alright, that is all three advanced coins. What do we wish to do now? Now we're climbing up the middle of the rope, and we're not actually touching any of the, any of the rope at all. It's kind of funny. You are not one of the guys that drops a boomerang I can actually throw. It's kind of disappointing. Uh, not that. I'm trying to try not to get hips. I'm assuming we're probably going to have a boss battle coming up. Um, so I'm trying to keep as much of my power as possible. At the same time, I'm going too slow. My gosh, how long is this room? Is there something over here? It looks like there should be nothing up there. We have 30 seconds for boss battle time. Who's it going to be? It is Boom Boom. Ah, yeah. Why is there a second pipe entering into this room? I didn't miss anything, though, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Did I actually just hit the question mark ball with fire and it was about to start flying across the screen? Oh my gosh, that was a fun level. I Andrew approves of that level. And then, yeah, so we got all the advanced coins there. That was a very good level. I can understand that, why they broke that into two. Uh, so let's see, airships part, airships, uh, Bowser's airship part two. Three more advanced coins, which will take us up to 127. Here we go. But yeah, I guess, you know, uh, levels in Mario 3. Oh! That's so cool! Andrew is impressed with this. Very impressed. That was actually really awesome. That it's like... The second part starts right where the first part ended? Okay. That... Why is a Mario game never done that? Be like, oh... 
more Mario games need to do that. I now want to see a Mario game where every single level starts immediately after the previous level, which is kind of what Mario 1 tried to do, where you get to the castle, and then it's supposed to be like, you know, you start the next level at that exact same castle, which is why underground levels start with Mario going into a pipe, because obviously if the level just started underground, it would not be a continuous thing. But that was cool. That, that, is in, that, that, that impressed me ridiculously. Such a simple thing. That just made me happy. Oh my gosh! Um, can we... Yeah, we're not getting... It's not like adding up, unfortunately. We're not getting... What am I trying to say? And that stupid one up, I hate you. Um, we weren't uh, getting... like no, The points wasn't go up, go, uh, going up after each kill with the star. So there was no way to accumulate one-ups there. I was saying something way back there. Yeah, Mario 3 doesn't have checkpoints, so I guess it's kind of like giving you a checkpoint after Boom Boom by splitting the level into two. Uh, that's cool. I have no problem with that. That was, that was that was really neat. Really, 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 really neat. I'm not going down that pipe, because I know it's going to be a jerk and hide something after this, isn't, aren't they? No, really? No, no, nothing after the... Okay. <laughs> that's exactly the kind of thing I would have expected whoever the awesome person is who designed these levels would do. Um, wow. Wow, you jumped right into... No, no, no! Play like you play. You did, we're doing well, Andrew. And then just suddenly, okay, I'm inside now. Time to play like a moron. <sighs> this is fun. I think I found the secret. That was actually pretty cool. Bouncing off all the stuff like that. Although I still got hit in the face, and I guess his ear got caught on that one or something. Whoops. Okay, back inside again. That guy has one of the boomerangs that you can pick up, and I was expecting to be able to pick that one up. I guess it was just a sliver off screen, uh, which is always great. Is it possible to go back and make him respawn? No, it's not. So I would have liked to have gotten that, but I guess we're not for some reason. Oh, is this another one? No. Uh, of course, yeah, this one has like two on screen when he gets killed. Hmm, I'm wondering if it's symmetrical. Is it symmetrical? Symmetry in video games is a thing, but no, there's no invisible block there. Hmm. Where will this lead us? Okay, then we're back outside. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we made it to the outside part last time. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I, I, I got murdered as soon as I went inside. So this is new. Okay. Please be a leaf. No. Although, I, like, again, it does kill rocky wrenches. This is cool, though. I am really impressed with this. I wish I had gotten that boomerang so I could have been throwing it around. That would have been fun. But anyway, we're going to have to deal with what we have. These things, have they ever come back in the Mario game? Yeah, they probably did come back in one of the new Mario games, something like that. I'm forgetting exactly everything that's come back in new Mario games. The only thing I can remember is how pathetic Yoshi was in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's like, oh, he's on the box! He's gonna be like a gigantic focal point of this game! And he was like in three levels. It's like, wow. Good job, Nintendo! I definitely feel like Yoshi was in that game. It's like, <laughs> Anyway... Yeah, that's one thing that, that uh, wasn't in any of the e-reader levels. It would have been really cool if they could have got Yoshi in here, but I can understand how that would have caused some problems, likely. So it makes sense that he's not. Is that his block? Yeah, it's a it random wooden block. It definitely seemed like it was probably an item one. Oh, he's got to search those things out. We have a random bridge thing here? Do we have a... Okay, we're back in control. What is that? <laughs> Why is there a question mark block way up in the sky? Okay, there's the... I was, like I said, there has to be something here. Another flower. I mean, cool that they put a power up there. That's actually really neat. I like secret power up blocks that aren't obvious, but they're not. There aren't enough of those. Also, I see an advanced coin. Ugh, that was that, <laughs> that was pretty risky. And here's the end. Here's a okay. Here's a leaf. Actually, flower might have been pretty good for the boss. Also, it feels like there's something to the right. But why? Why would I ever risk this? Why in a million years would I ever even think of trying to risk doing something so stupid? Why, Andrew? Why would you ever risk that? <sighs> it looks like there's something over there! It's bugging me. You don't know how much it's bugging me. Andrew's OCD is, like, off the charts. Can I get fly height here? How do you do this? It's shift F5. Safe state! We're going! We're doing it! There's absolutely nothing over here. <laughs> okay, uh, as you've noticed, oh, we're actually, oh, come on, another Bowser fight with no time left. I guess it makes sense that Bowser would be here, considering it's Bowser's airship. I didn't actually make that connection. I was, for some reason, thinking it was going to be a Koopa brother. Oh my gosh. 
Yes, Bowser is not dead. I mean, wow, this is like two Bowser fights. That, that's really cool. See, people, everyone thinks that, you know, Mario, new, new Mario Brothers is the only Mario game that has like a cliffhanger Bowser fight thing. But no! This did it before that existed. Also, I wanted him to crush, you know, the other blocks, which would be nice. Oh, if I had firepower, you can kill him with firepower, can't you? So firepower is actually the smart move to make here. If we don't kill him this time, which hopefully we do. Come on, another last second Bowser destruction would be very cool. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we got this. We got this, Bowser. Come on, come and get me! Come and get me! Darn you. One last shot. One last shot. <sighs> I was hoping he would shoot upwards. Oh, guess can only have such good luck one time. Final try. Let's see, this time, can we get the boomerang? Yes! Alright. Let's do this. I wonder if you can actually kill Bowser with the boomerang. That'd be really cool. Wow, it, wait, that went right through him. What good is the boomerang if it hits an enemy and doesn't even kill it? You can take it through pipes, right? The only time we've really fooled around with the boomerang was at the end of level 2, I think. Otherwise, it doesn't show up too much in the main levels, which is a shame. Also, you can't duck with it, which makes getting up here a little bit more difficult than, in, uh, than it otherwise would be. Where am I missing the two advance points still? I didn't miss one, did I? Alright, let's see what we've got coming up here. Oh, that's right, we had that really kind of death-defying jump up here. Which wasn't super interesting. Or, I mean, not super... It was, it was pretty interesting, actually, but it, was, it wasn't super fun. I mean, it was fun, but it was just kind of annoying. Uh, I also... I'm um, holding this. Can we kill this thing with the thing? No, we cannot. I would be... I am interested in seeing if we can kill uh, Bowser with it, though. We can kill these guys! Well, that was actually a really good place to use it. Uh, then the auto-scrolling is about to end, I think? Or is it? No, maybe not. Soon, I think. There's two. Well, let's take this boomerang all the way to Bowser. We can do it. We can do it. That would be epic to kill him. Yeah, let's see, we killed Bowser with hammers in my late night run. I hope that everyone's watched that. I'm not spoiling the whole thing. Uh, that was great. It's if we if we killed him with the boomerang to finish it all off in this run, that'd be really cool. Also, yeah, this is the place where the bonus flower is. I'm going to keep that there just in case I want to come back for it. But otherwise, how do you do this? Okay, that's what we did last time. We got that, we got that. Bowser, prepare to be destroyed with a boomerang. Maybe? I can't tell if it's doing any damage or not. Although we lost our fire, which isn't good. Am I hurting him at all? That's a shame. Would have been really cool if you could kill him with the boomerang. Otherwise, I was going to try and kill him with fire, but then I accidentally took a hit like a dork. Get over here and crash through the floor. Any, oh, <laughs> overall, we've seen this battle actually twice before this, not including the death runs, because uh, I beat it in Bowser's Castle 2, and then I also did a sped-up version, uh, because I didn't think people needed to watch the whole thing again. But yeah, this room, interesting layout. Um, definitely, it's not as difficult as the one where it had all the funky stuff in the ceiling with the advance coin. This room's not so bad. Although, let's just uh, hope I, you know, I say that, and I'll probably not be able to get out of this hole or something. Oh my gosh! He never jumps where I want him to. Ugh, okay, over here, Bowser, over here. Come on. No, he likes crashing through there. Although overall, it's he's gonna crash through the floor next time anyway. As long as I don't screw it up somehow. Okay, right here, right in the middle. You can do it, Bowser. You can do it. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, okay, come on, right here. Right here, come on. Don't be a jerk, don't, don't be a, I was gonna say jerk and dork, and it turned into a jerk. Don't be a jerk, Bowser. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> I'm almost happy I died the first time, because I, I, I would have been forever wondering if you could kill Bowser with the boomerang, but there you go. Myth busted, you cannot kill Bowser with the boomerang, which is quite disappointing. I'm pretty sure you can kill him with fire, to, uh, fire though. But I killed him with hammers in my late night run. So, wow, there you go, Bowser's Airship Part 1 and 2. Do they live up to the epicness that they were building to? Yes, they do. Those were fantastic levels. I love how one led right into the other. It ended with Bowser, had boom boom halfway through. They had challenges, they had secrets, they had advanced coins. They were awesome, and I really hope 
That, I was gonna say, you know, Mario games in the future have some cool levels like that. And I, I, I do hope so, because those were fantastic. <sighs> and with that, the main 30 levels are 100% complete if you don't count beating them with Luigi as 100% complete. We'll play as Luigi someday, I promise. But for now, well, I think we're gonna end on that and start with Airship's Revenge. Wow, <laughs> another airship level. And next time, uh, as it is the first promo level. So thanks for watching that. I hope you enjoyed. I really hope that you see just why these levels are so awesome. Uh, those were 30 of the best Mario levels I have ever played. And yeah, don't forget, uh, the, the download is in the description for the save file. So play these yourself. And yeah, I hope you'll come back next time when we begin the promo levels. And probably do all of them, because there's only three. So when we do the promo levels. So thanks for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time for Airship's Revenge. So thanks, and see you later.